Listen, if we need any more evidence of how addictive and distracting smartphones are, I encourage anyone to look at the House of Commons chambers later. We are all grown adults. Uh, we are in serious business and we know we are on television, yet we cannot often leave our phones. I am guilty of this as well, fiddling and faffing. How the hell can we expect children to stay off their phones and concentrate in schools if that is what they are seeing all around them. And education is so vital. We spend a lot of time in this place arguing about how to do it right. And those years and hours in the classroom should not be compromised. And we also need to give teachers who work so hard to qualify. It's vocational. They want to be there. They want to do their best job. We need to give them the best chance of teaching well. And as Professor Jonathan Haidt says, for policy exchange is an excellent, excellent report. Back in our day at school, having a mobile phone would have been the equivalent of bringing our television sets along with our video cassette recorders, our record players, our walkie-talkies and any other communications and games that we could and sticking them on our school desks. We just wouldn't do it, so why are we allowing it now? Now, I wrote about this issue of banning smartphones in schools in the Stroud News and Journal. I thank all the parents that got in touch from around my dis uh, district. Um, one gentleman, Leo, a uh, father, he said, despite being a millennial and working in digital marketing, so his profession has I've personally decided to move away from smartphones about three years ago, partly in anticipation of conversations with my kids regarding this matter. He's talked about this on LinkedIn. He encouraged me to look at the smartphone free childhood movement. I, I really applaud us for them uh, and, and many other organisations as well. So I personally think that with schools, that the argument about whether we need to ban smartphones uh, and do it well is basically one. The question is how, and it is tough for some schools, and I think that's why I encourage people to look at the policy exchange list of recommendations that includes schools, Ofsted, politicians. It encourages everybody to think those things through. But when I was in the park with my two little ones this weekend, so they're one and three, I am like a proper helicopter parent. I am like shepherding them around, worrying about them going up and down slides, and you know I'm there and that and this. That, that. But yet we are giving children phones to have in their pockets and in their bedrooms that are actually encouraging bullying, harassment, violent porn, dick pics, cyber flashing, eating disorders, health, self-harm and exploitation as many colleagues have talked about. So I spent all that time thinking about how to protect my kids from the world yet this, these things are going to be very live in, in their little lives very soon if we don't do something about it and I don't think it's good enough. Now one of my campaigns that I've been running for years now is to tackle anonymous abuse. Uh, we do need to think through the fact that it doesn't matter what this place does, children are likely, some children are likely to end up online and end up on social media, even if we put the best bans uh, and the best measures in place. Now what we have tried to do, myself and Clean Up the Internet, is we're requiring tech companies to put ID verification options which allows people to only follow people who are real people and verified online and be followed by them. Now the government has legislated for this this. Tech companies know how valuable it is because they are charging people for their blue ticks. They're charging me. I'm, I've signed up just to see what it does. They charge me like 11 quid a month uh, on Instagram just to have the privilege of saying that I am who I say I am. But we've got to go faster. Now, Ofcom have got a lot to do, but they are not implementing this quick enough. Real people can be caught quicker if we have their identification behind them. We need to put that in place, and I ask the Minister to fast forward what Ofcom are doing in that respect. Thank you.